everybody and welcome back to another video of Lego Chaos with Jax. Today we will be reviewing set number seven, two, I mean, I'm sorry, 70920, Eggheads Food Fight. It is 293 pieces with three minifigures. And let's go ahead and look at day up. Yeah. Alright, now, I say we start with the minifigures. Alright, here's the Batman minifigure. Two facial expressions. I don't know if I have this one or not. Nope, don't have this one. One facial expression. Here's the other one. Has a new belt piece of the time, which attaches to the hips. Soft cloth cape. Some back torso printing, front torso. And he has a grappling hook for an accessory. Then Condiment King, one of the main reasons I got the set, comes with these, mm, if they're stud shooters, where if you shoot them, it's supposed to be ketchup and mustard. See that? Now if you take those off, then you can look at them better. And take off his neck attachment. That's how it attaches, is by this clear neck attachment piece. Alrighty. He has a green helmet and two facial expressions. One looks like he just ate some mustard, and one he looks angry. And then he has no back printing for torso, but he does have some awesome, hilarious front torso printing and some leg printing. I mean, that's some Captain Underpants if I've ever seen it. No, I'm just kidding. But you know how, it's just funny that they're actually underwear. And then it's dual molded legs as well. Now the main villain of the set, Egghead, let's go ahead and get him out of his mech, has this rear head attachment for his head to make it look like he's a head, an egg, with awesome torso printing and some a coattail piece as well. Alrighty, so now let's look at the actual mech. So it has like this egg beater where you could put up a car put pick up a character. On the back of the box it shows Batman being in there, which is strange. And then on the front it shows Egghead being in there. So we'll just say Batman's in there and he grabbed Egghead. So you could place him in there. And you could hold on to him or any character and spin it around probably makes him some, and then you can move the arm 360, could move this a little bit, that, move all the fingers, uh, you could move this little thing, and you can move this on the back, move this, there's a lot of moving parts on these arms, and then back here there's some of these like tanks, where you could move those up and down, and there's this thing where eggs come out I think, where he throws them, and that attaches to this right here, which if we shoot that, well, I probably lost that forever. Nope, here it is. They are some printed pieces, and there's this wire that's going from here, and also it says explosive, ha, ha, ha. It's a funny joke. Then you can move this as you'd like as well. And probably another great piece is this white chicken piece with the clear hood piece, not hood, uh, dome piece with some clear, pe more clear pieces. And you can move the legs quite a bit, see that? So let's go do some po poses. Looks like he's about to smash Batman. Could move the arms. All right, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll do poses at the end. And this over here, another, Oh, you can't move that one 360. I mean, you can not, no, because of that wire. But this, you can move the hand. That, two, that fires out these eggs. You could still spin that, still move that. Then there's this, which I don't know what that is. But then, if you put it sideways, it kind of looks like a chicken. And then there's some extra detail on the side. Really, I think the only complaint that I have with this whole set is this back part, which you can't even see, really, if you're... You can't see it, even if I, like, spin it around, really. I mean, there's that. 
crazy. Oh, that's why. Okay. Then there's these red things, which kind of annoys me, but no problem. That's probably what it actually looked like in the movie. Which, I've trust me, I've seen the movie. And then there's this um, cockpit piece where you lift that up, put Egghead or whoever in there, and they can control the thing ugh, with those bars, which uses a tooth piece or a claw piece with a clip piece, and you could put them in there, and they could control it. And also there's these jumpers on the front, which I don't know what that's for. Let's see here, is there anything else that I'm missing? Any play features that I'm missing? Uh, no, I don't believe so. Oh, maybe I did. Did I forget to tell you that this spins around like an egg beater? Um, I don't, oh yeah, you could also move the legs and feet. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this review on Lego Chester Jacks. So Lego Chester Jacks signing off, peace, peace.